Hello all, this is the Fundamentals of Computer Hardware Maintenance. In this course, we are going to discuss about uh, the objectives of the computer hardware maintenance. At the end of this course, you are going to have knowledge of computer hardware and you'll be able to identify computer hardware issues and problems, determine the faulty computer hardware and know basic of uh, computer troubleshooting tips and you'll be able to have the knowledge of operating system and the device drivers, identify hardware peripherals, basic knowledge of uh, self-guiding hardware, and you will be able to apply the knowledge to repair and maintain a computer. Learning the computer basics. Uh, we will start by defining a computer. A computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in, in its uh, in, in its own memory and computer performs only four things uh, number one is to it will accept data as an input it will process the data according to the specified rules which is uh, uh, the programs and it will produce the results which is the output and lastly it will store the results as a storage for future use what uh, this is the typical example of a computer component and the uh, other devices and preparers that are connected to it and used together. This is a typical desktop computer. This is a monitor. This is a keyboard. These tools are, are speakers. This is a mouse. Uh, this is a microphone. This is a flash drive. This is a mod. Uh, this is an external storage. This is modem for sharing your internet. And this is the card reader. This is a scanner and this is printer. So these are the typical example uh, of computer and its component and other IT gadgets you are use you are using it uh, with the computer. Then we'll go to the examples and the types of computer. We have a uh, mainframe computer, we have supercomputers, and we have microcomputers. This is uh, example of mainframe computers. A mainframe computer. Uh, are those super computers that are used in an industry or in a military systems. These are examples and these are super computers which are also used uh, in a very sophisticated electronic works. Then we have micro computers which contains a desktop computer, the PDA which is personal digital assistance, a network computer, and even a, wear, a wearable computer, sometimes you may be able to wear some computers, maybe on your hand, like a smartwatch, or even on your face, like this one, in this case. We have tablet computer, we have a smartphone. All these ones are example of micro computers we are using. Then, a computer cannot operate without three things. Number one, the hardware. Number two, the software. And number three, the user. The hardware is a tangible or is a physical part of the computer. The software is the programs that are inside the computer, while the user is a person who will operate the computer. Then, uh, basic hardware components. Hardware represent the physical. Uh, hardware represents the physical and the tangible component of a computer. That is the components that can be seen and touched. Examples of hardware are the input devices like a keyboard and mouse, the output devices like uh, printers, monitor, speaker, then the secondary storage devices like a hard drive, the CD room, the flash drive, and so on. Internal components uh, are the component inside the computer like a motherboard, the CPU, and the RAM. So these are the examples of a uh, Hardware component, look at this as an uh, input, uh, input device, which is a keyboard and mouse. This is a speaker, this is a typical desktop computer, and this is a printer. So let's take the hardware component one by one and then explain them. Let's start with the input device. Input devices are those devices that, we, that will allow you to input a data into the computer. We have so many examples of uh, input devices like a keyboard, we have numeric keypad, the pointing device, the remote control is an example of an input device, the joystick we use for gaming, the touchscreen like a smartphone touchscreen, 
or uh, touch screen on computer or any other devices. The scanner we use to scan our pictures and document. The graphic tablet. The microphone we use it to record our sounds. The digital camera is also an example of input devices. We use it to capture our pictures, the images, and the videos. Then the webcam, we use it to record and go online uh, with our computers. Then the light pen, which is also an example of our input device. The next thing is the output devices. Out output devices are those devices that uh, give us the results from our computer. Uh, examples are the monitor, which is the main input device you can use the monitor to see what you are doing with the computer the speakers which produce the sounds that the computer make the headphones which you also listen to it on our ears the plotters projectors and the printers all these ones are examples of our output devices the next thing are secondary storage devices secondary storage devices are auxiliary devices we use to store our information from computer after being processed we have example of our external hard drive. Uh, this is the hard drive. We have the CD-ROM. We have DVD-ROM. We have Flowfedix, which is uh, outdated. And we have pen drive, which is the flash drive. And we use it to carry information from one computer to another. Or we can use it to store our information for future references. And we also have a memory card, which is also one of the example of the secondary storage devices. Then the internal component of the computer. A computer, a control unit, it, contain, it contains a lot of uh, components inside it. The components that are inside a uh, control unit are the motherboard, the processors, the RAM, the optical drives, the hard drive, the heat sink, the plurphy disks, the system fan, and the power supply. All these components are connected to the motherboard, either directly or through. Uh, a PCI card or anything else. Processor is connected directly to the uh, motherboard and also the RAM is connected directly onto the motherboard. The hard drive and the uh, optical disk drive are connected via a cable we call SATA cable or sometimes an IDE cable in some cases. So these are example of internal component inside the computer. Today we are going to discuss about computer hardware. A computer hardware is a physical component that a computer system requires to function. It encompasses everything of the circuit board that operates within a PC or laptop, including the motherboard, the graphic card, the CPU, the ventilation fans, the webcam, the power supply, and so on. All these ones are examples of computer hardware. We will start by discussing about a uh, motherboard. A motherboard is a is at the center of uh, of what makes a PC works. It houses the CPU and is the hub that all other hardware runs through. A motherboard, uh, everything is connected to the motherboard. This is a typical example of the uh, motherboard. You can see this is the, the cooling, the, the ventilation fan. This is the CMOS battery. This is a, a PCI slot, this is a, an AGP slot, and these uh, ports are for the SATA cables, whether you want to connect uh, the CD room, the hard drive, and so on. This slot are for RAMs. This, this motherboard has about four slots of RAMs, and these are the computer ports, like a LAN port, the USB port, and so on. Motherboard connects everything internally and externally. Everything in the computer inside the control unit is connected to the motherboard and anything outside the PC is also connected to the motherboard. The second uh, type of uh, computer hardware is a uh, CPU, which, is, which stands for Central Processing Unit. The CPU Central Processing Unit or processor is responsible for processing all the information from programs run by your computer. The clock speed or the speed at which the processor processes information is measured in gigahertz. This means that processor advertising a high gigahertz rating will likely perform faster than similar pro uh, similar processor of the same brand and age. 
which means the higher the the clock speed, the higher the processing capacity of the computer. This is an example of a processor. This is an Intel Core i9 X series processor, and this is the uh, the part that is connected to the motherboard. This is an example of an AMD Ryzen processor. A typical modern processor speed ranges from about uh, 1.0 gigahertz to 5.0 uh, gigahertz. Intel and AMD are the two most popular processing processor manufacturing company in the world. A random access memory, uh, which we call RAM, is the hardware found in the memory slot of the motherboard. The role of RAM is temporarily stored on the fly information created by programs and to do so in a way that makes uh, this, inf this data immediately accessible. The task that requires random memory could be uh, rendering images for graphic design, edited videos, or photograph. Multitask multitasking uh, with multiple apps open, for example, running a game on a screen. Uh, basically, RAM stores data temporarily. It comes in types like uh, the DDR, the DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 and the DDR5, which is the latest uh, type of uh, uh, computer memory and is the fastest. Then hard drive is another uh, very important type of uh, computer hardware, which is found inside the control unit or inside a laptop. The hard drive is a storage device responsible for storing permanent and temporary data. This data comes in many different forms but it's essentially anything safe or installed to a computer. For example, computer programs, the family photos, operating system, or processing documents, and so on. There are two types of uh, storage devices, the traditional hard disk drive, which is called HDD, and the newer version of a uh, solid state drive, which is called SSD. Hard disk drives work by writing binary data onto spinning magnetic disks called platters that rotate at a high speed, while a solid state drive stores data by using a static flash memory chip. That means in a hard, hard disk drive, which is SSD, there is a moving part inside it. Then in solid state drive, which is SSD, there is no moving part inside it. So. This is a typical example of a uh, uh, SSD. This is a M.2 SSD. This is a HDD for laptop, and this is a HDD for desktop. This is an example of SSD. Hard drive are of two types, which is HDD or SSD. Hard drive stores data permanently in the computer. The uh, another another type of a uh, hardware component is a graphic processing unit which is called GPU. Graphic processing unit is a programmable processor specialized for rendering all images on the computer screen. A GPU provides uh, the fastest graphic processing and for gamers. The GPU is, is a standalone card plugged into the PCI Express uh, buses. GPU circuitry can also be part of the motherboard chipset or on the CPU chipset itself. Sometimes uh, on desktop computers, the GPU is uh, printed on the motherboard, which is called a uh, chipset, and it's connected on what we call a NOS bridge. While in some uh, cases, like in modern laptops, the GPU and the processor are, are printed on uh, the same chip on motherboard. GPU is suitable for gamers, graphic designers, video editors, and highly graphical softwares. Then the next part of a uh, computer component, hardware component, is power supply. Power supply unit (PSU). The power supply unit, commonly abbreviated as a PSE, PSU, does more than just supply your uh, your computer with power. 
It is the point where power enters your system from an external power source and is then allocated by the motherboard into individual component hardware. Power supply converts uh, AC to DC and supply it to motherboard, uh, to, hard, uh, to hard disk drive, to optical disk drive, and anything connected to the computer. Power supply is the, in, it supplies the entire power to your computer. The next uh, hardware company is a uh, computer port. Computer port is a connector on the motherboard or on a separate adapter that allows a device to connect to a computer. This may include the keyboard, uh, the mouse, the serial ports, the network, uh, network port, the sound port, and the video ports. Ports vary with the types of the equipment that connects to the port. What have gradually changed over time as computers have changed to become faster and easier to work with. Uh, these are the tip, uh, types of ports we have in computer. Anything is connected to the computer externally via ports. Uh, this is a VGA, and this is the DVI, and this is the HDMI port. Uh, this is the example of a desktop motherboard. Uh, you can see this is a HDMI, this is a USB port, this is a LAN port, and this are uh, for audio, for microphone, for auxiliary, and for uh, earphone. Uh, this computer port is for Mac. It also have an audio, a USB, and a LAN cable. And these are the, uh, some types of ports. This is a HDMI, the Thunderbolt. This is uh, the, the, a display port, the VGA, the Ethernet, the audio, USB-A, the DVI, the micro SD, and also a Type-C, uh, USB Type-C port. This is a typical arrangement of a desktop computer. This is a complete control unit, and then everything is connected to it. This is a power switch, the LED light that indicate that the system is working normally. And this is the uh, where you can plug your power port. Today we are going to discuss about computer software. Software uh, is a program that runs the hardware. Uh, when you turn on your computer, the first thing to see is what we call software. And when you are trying to play music or you want to play movies, you are using software. If you want to go and browse, to the internet you are using software now let's start by defining uh, a software software is a set of programs which is designed to perform a well-defined function now a program is a sequence of instructions written to solve a particular problem uh, we are going to types of our, our software we have a uh, system software and we have application software. These are the two major types of uh, software we have. Now, the system software is a collection of uh, programs designed to operate, control, and extend the, path, uh, extend the process capabilities of a computer. System software are generally purified by computer manufacturers and the system software serves as interface between the hardware and the end users. Example of a system software are uh, operating systems, the compilers, the interpreters, and assemblers. Then, uh, operating system is the total is the entire program that runs the computer. Without operating system, computer cannot work. Uh, we have so many examples of operating systems like uh, Apple Mac OS, like Microsoft Windows like Unix, uh, like uh, BlackBerry OS, like Android, uh, like Linux, like MS-DOS, and uh, so on. Another example of uh, computer software is application software. Application software is a type of computer program that performs specific functions. This function performed by application software can be personal, business always as, uh, as well as educational. Uh, those applications software is also known as end user software or, product or productivity software. Example of application software are Microsoft Word, 
uh, Gmail, YouTube, uh, Google Drive, Photobook, Adobe Premiere Pro, and any program uh, which you are using in your computer. Then another type uh, of uh, computer software is utility software. Utility software allows a computer to perform tasks that are not part of the operating system but are still practical and useful. For example, of uh, utility software might instruct a computer on how to copy uh, to copy open an information on a CD drive or might be an antivirus. Examples of utility softwares are antivirus, the file management, the disk management, the compression tools, uh, and the disk cleanup. up. Today we are going to discuss about uh, a relationship between computer hardware and software. Uh, hardware and software are mutually dependent on each other. Both of them uh, must work together to make a computer produce a useful uh, output. Software cannot be utilized without uh, supporting hardware, and then hardware without a set of programs to operate open cannot be utilized and is useless. To get a particular job done on a computer, relevant software must be loaded into the into the hardware that is uh, a device driver. We are going to discuss about a uh, device driver later. Hardware is one uh, is a one-time expense. That means when you purchase your hardware, uh, you have paid it for life. But software, uh, sometimes you'll be renewing your license, maybe it's monthly or yearly or even after some time. Uh, relationship between hardware and software. Software development is very expensive and is continuing expense. Uh, different software applications can be loaded on hardware to run uh, different jobs. Software acts as an interface between the user and the hardware. If hardware is the heart of a computer system, then software is a soul. Both of them are complementary uh, to each other. Now, device driver is a program that controls a particular type of device that is attached to your computer. There are device drivers for printers, for CD-ROMs, for displays, uh, for image devices, keyboard, sound devices, Bluetooth devices, network adapters, pointing uh, devices, uh, graphic card, and so on. How will you like to? How will you identify a computer problem? A computer problem is either a software problem or a hardware problem. If this system, uh, if your system does not turn on automatically, that means uh, the problem is from your hardware. Then if the system turns on but is not functioning or the OS is not loading down means the problem is a hardware uh, is a software problem. So let's dive in. Then uh, make sure for you to identify which kind of problem your computer has uh, noted. The first thing to do is make sure you reduce possible external problems before proceeding. That means unplug any external devices such as hard drives, scanners, printers and remove any flash drive. CDs or DVDs or discus, uh, disket from your, uh, uh, from the drive. Where there is any loud noise or smoke, when the problem first appeared, then it is probably a hardware problem. With the most likely cul uh, culprit being the SMPS, which stands for Switch Mode Power Supply Unit. Sometimes the power supply can burn out uh, and produce some smoke. And look at this image, look at this MOSFET, it has burned out, and this is a typical desktop power supply, which also burned out. Uh, if the computer entirely died, or the screen is blank, or the screen is showing a poor incomplete picture, these faults are probably also due to a hardware problem. This computer has damaged completely, the motherboard has broken down, the screen has uh, damaged, and everything on the computer has been damaged. Uh, this computer is working, but the screen is not showing. Maybe the problem is from the memory or from the uh, graphic cards or from the connector that connects the CPU to the monitor. Does the computer reduce a series? Uh, does, does the computer produce a series of beeps? This is a code that can be used to distinguish some hardware problems. Sometimes the computer will continue will continue producing a uh, beep. That means the problem is from the hardware, maybe it's from the memory, 
because if there is no more in the computer, the computer cannot start up. Does the system give any other code or description while booting? This can be due to hardware or software problem. Uh, take careful note of all the information given in the error code. Look at this. Uh, this is a uh, error code screen on a computer. This means this uh, screen shows there is a problem on your hardware and on your software because your hardware has started. So you have to look at the stop code. Look at the stop code uh, 0x000050. And you can use this code to identify what kind of problem the system has. Does the computer produce error information it has booted or only when you open specific programs? These error codes are probably due to software problems. Sometimes if the system starts up and is working, but some program do not open, that means the problem, the problem is from that program. But if the system does not does start up, but Windows does, does not boot, that means the problem is from the OS. Have any recent changes been made to hardware or software, including the BIOS settings? If so, these are likely a culprit. Sometimes you can uh, enter into a BIOS setup utility and change the boot devices, uh, the, the boot device. After changing the booting device, the system will not turn on because the will not work because the booting file is in the hard drive and you change it. So in this case, you have to go back to the BIOS settings and reset it to the default. Has the computer been exposed to viruses or other malware? This could be a cause of software problem. Device uh, manager will list all the hardware devices installed on a PC. Any device with a problem will have a warning symbol next to it. And double clicking on that device will give a details and suggested remedies for the problem. This is an example of it. So you see this Bluetooth controller has a problem. The PCI device has also has a problem. And the SM bus has a problem. So by double clicking on it, it will show you the uh, suggested remedies. Or you can go online and update the... Uh, Today we are going to talk about uh, computer maintenance. Prevention or maintenance is better than cure or repairs. Maintenance is when you are using computer, uh, the new prevent it from uh, getting broken while repairs is when the computer has broken or has failed computer maintenance is necessary uh, one of the tips that will help you maintain the computer to work properly is uh, checking the harmful materials like dust uh, viruses outdated softwares uh, outdated softwares faulty electrical power and gadgets uh, example like cables, circuit, and extensions. Uh, another tip is check any malfunctions of uh, uh, peripherals. And proper maintenance help to keep the computer running smoothly for years. Improving the slow performance. Uh, dust control. Dust is very harmful for computer parts. Excess dust can cause mechanical failures, particularly in computer component with uh, moving parts. Computers should be understood regularly by using a compressed air machines, that is uh, like uh, electrical blowers. Uh, if you can see, this is a, a typical desktop processor cooling fan, and it has been dusted. So we use air compressors to remove this dust so that to help uh, the cooling fan work smoothly. Then, uh, another thing that will help improve slow performance is a uh, disk de uh, defragmenter, which is used to organize files on hard drive and optimize free spaces, improving the speeds and performance of computer. Some applications may fail outright if the disks become too much def uh, defragmented. Then we have a uh, scan disk. Uh, disk scan for hard disk faults, use scan disk, uh, check how to scan, check now to scan the hard drive for a fault and even repair them if possible. This option will check the hard disk for errors and then repair the errors uh, automatically. Then access and unused files. As a hard disk becomes full, the computer's performance is reduced. It takes more time to find and access needed files. 
the fragmentation is not as use, use uh, is not as successful due to a lack of uh, free space on temporarily move file to while they are being rearranged. Therefore, it is wise for a computer user not to keep files that are no longer needed. Files that have been stored in, in user's document folder that are no longer needed, such as extra photos or the versions of document, shall be deleted. Uh, a disk clean up. The disk, the disk uh, clean up utility can determine which files on your hard drive may, may no longer be needed and delete those files, in addition to freeing up potential, potentially significant amount of hard drive space. Using this utility regularly can improve the system performance. This is a typical example of a fully loaded local hard disk drive. Uh, this PC have, has about uh, four hard drive, and then this local disk is the one containing the OS. And if you can see, it's uh, almost full. It's just meant about seven GB of uh, space. Then this hard drive need to be uh, need to be uh, go under a uh, disk clean to reduce the unwanted uh, softwares and applications. Deleting browser history is one of the tips that will help you uh, improve the slow performance of your computer. The browser stores the recent history of web pages that the user has built. This makes it easier to find and load uh, this web page again. The browser also stores other small bits of information such as data entered in, into forms and usernames and both passwords. If a user has asked a web to remember me, Although it, this is uh, not a good idea for a shared computers, this stored information can be uh, easily deleted. This is a, a browsing history. You can clear and delete all the uh, browsing history, the browser inside your PC. Then we have uh, what we call a startup folder. Some programs will automatically put a startup, uh, a shortcut to start a folder forcing the programs automatically launch when you turn, turn the computer or log in. Sometimes this is desirable, sometimes not. Either way, this practice may slow your computer down to various degrees and with the program running all the time may slow down the performance of your computer. There is some of the programs in the start of folder to help uh, improve slow performance of your computer. Software inventory. When the hard disk becomes full, a computer's performance is reduced. To avoid installing software that are not necessary, system inventory will require you to know what software is needed or wanted on your computer. Please uh, note. Please use caution when on installing software. In order, in order to reinstall, you will need the original software installation first. This means if you purchase a license software. So don't delete it completely because you may require to install it and then uh, put the license key, otherwise you will lose the license activation key. Then uh, another tip of improving your slow performance of your computer is protect your PC from cyber treats or a malware. The cyber world is full of treats such as viruses, spyware, Trojans, homes, and uh, etc. This cyber threat can cause huge dilemmas to your computer. These undesirable programs, which are usually added without a user's knowledge, can significantly slow down the performance of your computer. The best way to prevent viruses infection, virus infection in your computer are keeping antivirus software up to date and running scans on a regular basis. You'll be scanning your computer uh, from time to time. Strict policies should be put in place to prevent viruses, uh, virus infection, for example, prohibiting the use of flash drive or require flash disks to be scanned before you can use uh, the flash in your computer. Other policies to consider is, to, is the prohibition of downloading since unsuspecting, unsuspecting users can accidentally download a, a malware. A firewall may also be used to block dangerous uh, downloads. Another tips of improving the slow uh, performance of your computer as increases the speed of your computer is updating software. It is important for a computer user to find and install software updates in order to have 
well performing computers. Updating software can be done in a variety of ways. Automatic update, we have automatic alert for updates, manual updating and offline update. Uh, this is the typical, typical example of Windows updates. This is this update has been downloaded and is working on, on it. That means uh, it's installed into your computer. Uh, this is another example of our software updates. Overheating. Overheating excessive heat can cause a significant decrease in computer performance. In order to cool down an overheated computer processor, avoid operating the computer if the case is in enclosed space such as a drawers or a cupboard. Also, cool down with the fans or air conditioning. Also, verify that all of the fans in the computer case are functioning normally. Not modern computers have safeguards that shut down the system if the company is overheated. Sometimes, if the modern computer uh, become too heated, it will sh shut down automatically to com uh, to prevent the system from being uh, damaged. Insufficient RAM can cause computer to be slow. Computer need a sufficient RAM to perform a desired function. Once the memory is not sufficient, the performance will be slow. This problem is most likely if the computer is rather old and has uh, and has had a newer and more memory demanding operating system installed. For example, if you are using a uh, uh, Windows old PC and you install Windows uh, 10 on it, that means it's going to be slow which may require you to upgrade your RAM and then increase the system performance. Sometimes if you are using some application, it will be showing you that you, your computer is on a low level, so you need to upgrade your RAM in order to run such application. Uh, most of them like a gaming application and gra highly graphical uh, softwares. Uh, endurance. Endurance, lastly, one of the important hints to also keep in mind when you are using a computer is to be patient. Sometimes the computer has to think too. Uh, that means it has to process. Uh, if you are using uh, a render softwares or games or highly graphical softwares, you have to wait uh, to be patient to wait for the computer to process and give you the output. Next, avoid opening too many programs at a time. It will reduce the performance of the computer. Today we are going to discuss about uh, hardware repairs. A uh, computer comprises of two components, which is the hardware component and the software component. Now, uh, hardware can fail uh, sometimes and then it may require a professional to fix uh, the problem. So let's go to uh, the main topic, which is the hardware repairs. Uh, hardware means uh, hardware repairs means to rectify uh, or to fix the problem either in the hardware or, in, or software. It may also include replacement of a component that is uh, faulty. It is an essential part of troubleshooting. In finding or analyzing uh, the faults, it can be decided which hardware or software can be repaired. That means uh, we can't exactly say this is what has failed uh, unless we check it and see. And then we are going to go through the procedures that you are going to follow to find uh, what kind of component of the computer that has felt. This is the general, guide uh, general guidelines for repairing a computer. For repairing or troubleshooting a computer, use the following guidelines. Uh, number one, you need to gather together your toolkits, example like air blowing machines, like, like uh, screwdrivers, the softwares, the backup uh, disk. Uh, uh, another thing is to check for power first before doing anything else you need to check the power because 10 to 15 percent of all the computer issues and problems emanate from power uh, surge check this uh, before doing anything else to check uh, check to be sure if the computer is plugged into uh, an ac outlet properly or not uh, the next thing is check your external connection to the computer Specifically, check the mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, the modem, uh, and all the printer cables, making sure that all are secure and in the uh, right socket. The next thing is to uh, perform the power on self test, which we call POSTs. POST is the set of procedures that a computer runs through each time it is turned on. 
It ensured that all the system's hardware is working properly before trying to load the operating system. If the computer does not pass uh, posts, it will not boot. Tips. Make sure that computer turns on. If nothing happens, no light or no sound and no fun, the, the, the computer has a power uh, related issue. That means if you turn on your, if you turn on your computer and it, it doesn't produce uh, any LED lights, no any sounds, no fans, of no fun is not moving, then definitely the problem is from the, is a power related problem. Uh, this is the example of a uh, post. If you turn on any computer, uh, you will see the screen like this. Uh, it will display the name of the manufacturer of that very computer and then it will post, proceed to be to the uh, OS booting. Uh, still in the general guidelines for repairing computers, uh, if the computer is still malfunctioning, malfunctioning, uh, go ahead and then open the case. Check to see after you have opened the case of the computer, check to see that all the cards are fully pressed down into the uh, bus connections. That any sockets, any socket chip are fully pressed into their socket and that all the cables connections are fully attached. Make sure that the drive cables are attached correctly. Uh, then clean any dust or foreign materials out of the case while it is uh, open. So when you open your computer case, like in this case, uh, we have opened the, this desktop. This is the inside uh, of the desktop case, and this is the inside of the uh, laptop. We are cleaning the dust in it, and we are using air blower to remove any dust and anything unnecessary in it. So dust can cause overheating problems and electrical shorts. Sometimes insects will nest inside the case as well. All of this need to be uh, cleaned out before you close up the case. Take precautions to avoid inhaling excess dust and consider using a protective eyewear if necessary. Still in the general guidelines for repairing computers, try to boot the computer to the hard drive or to boot a, a, or to a bootable CD or DVD disk if necessary. Sometimes the hard disk will become corrupted by a user or a virus. Then uh, check the CMOS setup program and correct any configuration problems. If the information in the CMOS RAM about your computer configuration has been changed, or if the battery has died, your computer will not boot correctly, or it will not recognize a certain component. Uh, this is an example of a CMOS battery. This CMOS battery controls uh, it uh, controls the date and time, and also save the configuration inside your computer. Uh, look, up, look for onward changes. Someone may have turned the brightness down on your monitor or the LAN. Staff may have uh, changed your PC's configuration without your knowledge or approval. Or an installation program may have correct may have corrupted for your software. Look for the present uh, for the recent changes in your system's operation. You may need to run an to run an uninstaller program to remedy software related uh, problems. Isolate the problem. To one piece of hardware or one software package. When all this fails, then consult a professional. Uh, computer issues and problems and the tips to troubleshoot and fix or repair uh, that problem. The computer, if uh, you have a problem that the computer is unable to start up, if the computer does not run on when you press the power button, the following suggestion may help you to determine why the computer will not uh, start up. Sometimes you may turn on your computer and the computer will be unable to start up. So first thing to do is first of all, check if the computer is plugged into an uh, AC outlet, a power outlet properly, and then plug the, uh, plug another electrical devices into the outlet to, to be sure that the outlet is providing an adequate power supply. Or if you have a multimeter, you can measure the volts, uh, the voltage of your outlet and confirm that the, the light is in the uh, outlet. Then a surge protector can be used in this case because voltage across uh, voltage surges can be ver can be very uh, damaging the computer and other electrical components when put on the system to perform a post. Enter the post and then it is confirmed that the computer is producing all of the usual sort of sounds and light, but the motor is not displaying any information. Perhaps uh, there is a problem with the monitor. Make sure that it is connected to the power 
source and also that the VGA cable uh, is connected to the uh, uh, computer. Another problem is uh, the computer screen is blank. Sometimes the computer can start up but the screen is uh, blank. Uh, is blank. If the screen is blank, the computer may not be may not be set to display the images on the computer screen. First, check if the monitor is plugged into the power outlets and is connected to the computer securely, and make sure that monitor power is but uh, monitor power button is on. If the power light is uh, is not on, it means that the outlets on uh, is not de delivering power to the monitor, fixing the power outlets. In such cases, will help uh, solve the issue. Now, if you connect it uh, and then the monitor is blank, then confirm that the power outlet of the monitor is connected, and then check the VGA cable of. Oh, if you are using HDMI, check the HDMI cable that make sure that all the cables are connected uh, tightly. Another problem is uh, if this the blue if the computer shows blue screen, this are the. Uh, these errors are caused by poorly functioning uh, device drivers, hardware problems such as a, as a memory power supplies or system overheating, problem with the system software. The option of the system recovery and backup service will restore your PC to an earlier point of the state. You can perform this uh, action well. You get a blue screen, error or sudden system crash. Backup service is an assurance that your data is safe. Uh, these are the two examples of uh, blue screen. This blue screen, this first blue screen you are seeing, it can happen if uh, your computer shows this. It means the problem is either from the software or from the hardware. And then uh, this is the beginning of dump physical memory. Physical memory don't complete. Contact your uh, uh, administrator technology. And this is the stop code for this uh, error. So this may be from the hardware. But if you see problem like this, it's definitely from the uh, software, from the OS. So you need to be, to make sure that uh, you need to restart the computer first, and then you can run to you can run a safe mode to run your computer and restart it again, and then uh, proceed. Trouble with the video card. Sometimes you can turn on your computer, the system startup, and it can be showing you something like this. For example, like in this. Uh, System, look at the, the video it's producing, it's like blue. And this is another computer, look at the problem it's producing. And this is a typical example of a, a GPU. If the power lights of the computer and monitor is on and nothing comes up on the screen, when you start your computer, then there must be something wrong with the video card. Change its, uh, change its video or the graphic card with a new one. So, in laptop cases, if this happens, we may consider uh, hitting the uh, nose bridge, which is the CPU, on that very uh, laptop. But in desktop computers, sometimes we may remove uh, the GPU and then clean the slot and then turn it back to the uh, PC. Then OS also or some software is functioning abnormally. If the operating system or some other software is on a or responsive or responding abnormally, uh, immediate immediate solutions as restart your computer and run a virus scan. Not if you if you shall have a reliable antivirus software installed on your computer to fix these issues. Windows do not boot properly. This is another problem that a uh, computer user is facing sometimes. If the Windows do not boot properly, then you shall reinstall Windows with the Windows recovery disk. Most of the times, this shall help you get rid of the problem. Like in this, uh, this is the recovery mode. Your PC couldn't turn up properly. Maybe it has shut down unexpectedly. They said, press F8 for start up our uh, settings. If you have a problem like this, it will show you to press F8 for start up settings. If you press F8, this is what will going to be show. What is what will show you? Uh, this is a system restore, uh, system image recovery, startup repair, command prompt, the start of settings, uh, go back to the previous build. So among these uh, options, you may choose uh, system restore. If you choose system restore, it will restore to the point recommended on your PC that the window worked before. 
And if you choose start up repair, it will start, it will repair the OS and then continue from where it is. But a system restore will restore the last non boot configuration. But repairs will repair the, uh, the problem and continue from where it uh, stopped. Another problem that the computer uh, is facing is the computer is on but not responding. The computer is on but not responding to the software or keyboard or uh, keyboard command, then it must be frozen or halted. Immediate solution. Press and hold the power button for at least 5 seconds. It will be turned off. Now restart your computer. This uh, should fix the problem. If an external device if devices are not working, if an external device does not function as, at, as, uh, as, as, as uh, expected, immediate solution. Turn it on according to the manufacturer's instructions. Be sure that all devices connections are secure and receiving electrical power. Be sure that devices is compatible with the operating system and that the correct drivers are installed uh, and updated. Sometimes you may connect a devices that requires uh, electrical, power, electrical power to them. And if you didn't turn, them, uh, turn the device on, it will not uh, work properly. And device drivers must be installed correctly of that uh, device to, in order to make it uh, work perfectly. This is a troubleshooting flowchart. If you have a problem or issue, uh, the next thing to do is turn the computer on. Uh, does a causal appears? If no, uh, if yes, does a, uh, if no, troubleshoot the video or power supply problem. If yes, does the path, uh, does, does post pass uh, successfully? That means does the power and self test pass successfully? If no, troubleshoot post error. If yes, does a computer boot properly? If not to troubleshoot a uh, device operating system or application loaded in the startup folder, if yes, uh, and then does and that means uh, if the OS startup, then does the end. The system is working normally. Most common basic computer hardware repairs are uh, replacing a power supply. The power supply failure is common problem in an, in uh, in our country, and this is due to an uneven power voltage and power uh, surges. Replacing a hard drive or formatting and installing fresh operating system uh, is another common uh, computer repairs. Replacing a hard drive, replacing a power supply, replacing a RAM. RAM can fail or can uh, lose from any housing and need to be uh, reseated. If a computer needs new or additional RAM, it is important to make sure that the RAM use is compatible with the computer system. RAM is very uh, easily damaged by electrostatic charges. So it is very important for the user to be grounded before picking up a uh, RAM. Also RAM should only be handled by the edges. Like in this case, look at the edges, he, he hold RAM uh, and then he inserted to the RAM slot. This is the hard disk uh, replacement. He hold it and then trying to fix it to the computer. And this is an example of a typical power supply to the desktop. Uh, peripheral hardware use and maintenance. Peripheral hardware will also last longer if it is uh, well maintained. Peripheral hardware such as uh, printers, scanners will last longer if it proper care about heat, dust and power such control is uh, taken to consideration. Troubleshooting and fixing a printer problem. Let us assume that your printer's driver are up to date and that it has enough paper and ink or toner to print. Try turning the paper, the printer off and on. Unplug the printer and plug it back in. Check your printer's uh, print queue by uh, looking for the printer icon in the system tray and double click, uh, double clicking it. The print queue shows you the status of uh, each print, each each job as well as the general status of your printer. Make sure that use printer offline is not uh, selected. Because uh, you need to select an online printer. If you select offline printer, that means it's not going to print. Make sure that use printer offline is not checked. Sometimes printing while your printer is turned off can cause Windows to set your printer to work offline. And that can uh, stall job sent uh, later. Today we are going to talk about uh, malware. Uh, virus 
Oh, malicious software is any software used to disrupt computer or mobile operations, uh, gather sensitive information, gain access to private computer systems, or display unwanted uh, advertising. Uh, this ma malicious software finds its way into uh, the computer to the boot sector, file allocation table, partition table, dot com, and uh, dot exe and uh, files. That means uh, viruses go to the root of a uh, computer and it goes to the uh, uh, internet browser to house the browsing and also it can uh, destroy the exe files and other things. Uh, the actually effect of viruses. When your computer uh, has been infected with the viruses, it can cause problems like deleting files, changing files, still, uh, still important information, load unwanted applications, send document via electronic mails, that is email, uh, cripple a machine operating system OS, uh, which is the basic software that runs the computer. Uh, Virus warning signs. These are the signs and common symptoms that your computer has been infected with the viruses. The com if your computer is infected with the viruses, the computer performance will slow down considerably. Programs don't function as they should. They either don't start or even if they start, they uh, stop or do not give the desired uh, output. Computer fails to boot. Files and folders keep disappearing without uh, uh, anybody deleting them. The computer crashes or freezes indiscriminately, such as programs uh, not responding errors. The computer keeps showing out of memory space messages or strange dialog boxes will be displayed while you are using your computer. Programs and windows popping up uh, randomly. The programs and windows will popping up uh, randomly in your computer while you are using the system. Discs cannot be accessed. New icon and programs get installed automatically. Prints doesn't work correctly. Windows shut down or restart unexpectedly. A partition in the system disappears uh, automatically. If you have multiple partitions in your computer, it will be disappearing automatically. File size uh, changes for no appear for no apparent reason. Your file size may change without any reason. Maybe if you have a file that. Uh, it's larger, larger than one gigabyte, it can be showing you just uh, 10 kilobyte or one megabyte. Or if you have a file that is uh, not uh, more than 100 megabyte, it will be showing you the file size to be uh, 100 gig. All these ones are the examples of uh, infections of the virus. An increase in the number of files on the system when nothing has been added. Your files can be multiplied in the system while you did, you did not add any uh, file to it. A good protection program should be, a good uh, antivirus software should be, uh, first of all, scan for viruses, uh, should be able to check your drives for viruses as well as RAM of your computer and detect the presence of a virus. And then another property of a good uh, antivirus is it will clean up the viruses, must be able to get rid of viruses in it find on your computer, otherwise it is uh, useless. Protect your system from viruses. It must be. It must have ability to load a piece of program into a memory at boot up to protect you from getting a virus in the first place. It provides automatic updates. Must uh, regularly and automatically check back with the manufacturer for information on new viruses. Uh, this is the conclusion of this course. At the end of this course, which is the fundamentals of computer hardware maintenance, uh, these are the do's and don'ts. Uh, uh, to make sure you have a, a working and a very good computer working normally, always ensure that the power has been turned off before installing or troubleshooting any hardware part of the computer. Before opening a computer, just always unplug the power cord from your computer. When unplugging the power cord from your case, hold the button, the power button in at least in full in for at least five seconds, this will drain any residual electricity from the power supply. Always ground yourself to the case frame while touching any uh, any inside components. This can be done by touching the case frame with your, with your bare hand. 
or using a clamp on grounding device uh, successfully. Uh, this device is made especially for this purpose. Keep all liquids away from your computer. Avoid installing components when the computer is in operation. When installing any peripherals or devices, always read the installation instructions that come with, with the with the device. Never apply force to try and connect any plug and play or any device to your computer. When fitting handle when when fitting or handling processor on motherboard, always wear a gloves. Always choose to shut down to shut down uh, your computer by clicking shut down. Avoid switching of the computer direct directly from the main switch. If electrical power is lost, switch off all the devices from the main mains to avoid any problem due to power surge. Always eject USB devices from the operating system before disconnecting them. Upgrade the antivirus uh, regularly. Always use UPS, which is an uh, uninterrupted power supply. This will keep your computer from crashing during power outage and will protect your computer from low and high voltage uh, occurrences. Uninstall, uninstalling a software. Uninstall any software by add and remove program from a uh, function in the control panel. Uninstall function of our uh, application. Backup data if possible before making changes. Check to ensure that speakers is not muted through the control panel. Maintaining the battery for your uh, laptop. Most laptop batteries will last at least four hours when fully charged. If not maintained, however, the battery will require charging more frequently for maximum performance. Use the battery as your power source until the low battery warning emerges. Using your laptop with the Using your laptop with the AC adapter plugged into your electrical outlet will overcharge uh, the battery. Overcharging decreases the life of your battery. Eventually, the battery will be unable to hold a charge and will require a replacement. Condition uh, for the battery for maximum performance. Discharge the battery. Uh, use the battery until the low battery warning emerges. Charge the battery. Use the AC adapter until the battery is fully charged. Then immediately disconnect the AC adapter from the notebook. The procedure above ensures both maximum performance and long life of your battery. That means when batteries are fully charged, they need, they need to be discharged. And when the battery is dis discharged, it needs to be uh, recharged again. Uh, thank you for watching our tutorial. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to uh, hit the notification icon. Uh, I hope this uh, tutorial it will be very helpful to us from uh, if, if you are uh, a computer technician or a beginner uh, in this uh, area. And more tutorials on computer uh, repairs and maintenance are coming away. So subscribe to this channel and then hit the notification icon to be able to have more uh, videos to come. Thank you so much.